Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. Continuing with the lectures on autopsy, this is 30th lecture on the topic. And in this lecture, I will be discussing forensic artifacts. And the learning objectives will be that we will learn what are forensic artifacts, what are pre autopsy artifacts, and what are the artifacts which are introduced during the autopsy. So starting with the topic forensic artifacts, an artifact is a fact which is not a fact, but misinterpreted as fact. Any finding, change or cause introduced into the body after death, which leads to misinterpretation as an anti-mortem finding is said as artifact. And these artifacts may be pre autopsy artifacts, agnal artifacts, resuscitative artifacts. These are all introduced pre autopsy. And number three, the artifacts introduced during the handling and transportation of the body. And number four, the artifacts due to changes in the death in the body after death. So these are artifacts which are introduced pre autopsy. Then third party, third party artifact, which is introduced by any third party. Then artifacts which are introduced during autopsy. Number one, the agnal artifacts. These are the pre-autopsy. The first is the agnal artifact. These are the artifacts which are introduced at the time of death during the agnal period. The regurgitation of stomach contents into the trachea in agnal period, but that regurgitation has got nothing to do in the cause of death. During transportation of body and during resuscitation again, the contents of the stomach can flow into the trachea. Then the resuscitative artifacts. In hospitalized cases, when the resuscitative measures are adopted, then there may be fracture of the sternum with during CPR, cardiopulmonary res resuscitation, fracture of the ribs and ring-like contusion mark in the precordial area because of defibrillation or needle pricks marks in the pericardium area due to intracardiac adrenaline injection. Then artifacts introduced during transportation of the body. The most common artifact which is introduced during transportation of dead body is fracture of the portion of spinal cord, which can be misinterpreted as an antemortem finding. Similarly, the bumping of occipital area of head against any hard surface may be taken as contusion. Then the artifacts due to changes in the body after death. Liver mortis. As after death, the blood pools in the dependent regions, it may not be taken as inflammation, bruise or congestion. And discoloration due to poison may be misinterpreted because of certain poisons causes the changes in the color of the postmortem staining and that discoloration can be misinterpreted with the normal physiological phenomena. Like cherry red color due to carbon monoxide poisoning, pink color due to cyanide poisoning. 
So these colors are because of poisoning, not normal postmortem staining. Then decomposition. Due to decomposition, there is production of gases and this cause fluid to come out of the mouth and they can, it can be misinterpreted as any physical violence. Similarly, gases causes vesicle formation on the skin and they may not be taken as burns, burn bristles. Similarly, in decomposition, the tight necktie will cause the impression and they, that may not be taken as ligature mark. When gases collect in the heart, may not confuse with air embolism. Then the third party artifact. These are the artifacts introduced by the animals like rats, dogs, insects like ants, cockroaches and birds like vulture. They try to eat up the dead body and they cause artifacts. And this may not be misinterpreted as abrasion, laceration or cut marks. Their postmortem in nature will confirm by their lack of vital reaction and the antemortem, as we know, the antemortem injuries are linear in pattern, whereas those caused by animals are zigzag. The animal invade and eat up the flesh and mutilate the dead body, like rodents, fish in water, but they can be recognized by the typical animal incisor recognition, absence of vital reaction and extensive mutilation. Then the artifacts which are introduced during autopsy. For example, while dissecting the neck, especially in the elder person, when the hyoid bone has been calcified and become brittle, it may be fractured during autopsy. So this fracture may not be confused with strangulation because there will not be vital reaction. And no contusion of muscle. So it will decide those being postmortem in nature. Then while opening the skull, forceful opening of calvaria and pulling of meninges may cause widening of the fractures, appearance of new fractures. So the artifacts introduced at any stage may result in misinterpretation of the findings. So special care should be taken to prevent them. The summary of this lecture is that we have discussed what are forensic artifacts, what are pre-autopsy artifacts, and what are the artifacts which are introduced during autopsy. Thank you very much. This is all about the artifacts. Take care, Allah Hafiz. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name, Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokhar. Thank you very much.